Okay. Okay. So the next question with very big text is asking us, we got a six kilogram bucket of water being pulled up straight by a string at a constant speed. At a certain point, the speed of the bucket begins to change. Oh, when ch speed changes, acceleration is going on. Don't forget that. Uh, the bucket now has an upward constant acceleration of three meters per second squared. What is the tension in the rope now? Okay. So uh, let's extract uh, the numbers of interest from this equation. So we know we have a mass, and that is six kilograms. That's a lot of water. Um, starts at a constant speed, and then at a certain point, the acceleration becomes three meters per second squared. So acceleration, uh, I'll, let's say A up, a upwards arrow, the upwards acceleration, that becomes three meters per second squared. Okay, so um, let's let's draw a free body diagram. So this could be our bucket, our six kilogram button, our bucket. And we know that it's gonna be um, it's going to have a gravitational force, Fg, and then it's going to have um, F cable, the cable that's pulling it up. Okay, so um, when it's moving at a constant speed, speed, there's no acceleration. No acceleration, no net force, no net force, meaning that Fc is equal to Fg. Okay, um, and that, that's when it's moving up at a constant speed. But what's really interesting is when it starts to accelerate. Okay, so when it accelerates, acceleration, um, net force is up. And the net force, so let's call that F net. F net divided by mass is equal to um, the acceleration up, so A up. Okay, um, so if we go back here, um, Fc not only has to balance out Fg, it's also going to have the additional acceleration upwards. Okay, so um, so, so that's going to be like the total amount of tension in the cord because the cord not only has to hold up the weight it also has to like add the additional force of acceleration okay so uh, Fc or F net, uh, Fc is going to be um, the force of the gravitation plus F net. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, and you can kind of see like the, the exact way that they set it up here. So we know with the uh, Newton's first or Newton's second law that F equals MA. So this is going to be M times the gravitation, uh, the acceleration of gravity plus the mass uh, multiplied by the acceleration uh, due to um, the upwards pull. So that will be A up. And we can factor out the mass. So Fc equals mass times gravity plus acceleration upwards. Because that's the actual acceleration that the... Um, that the cord needs to supply. It needs to supply an upwards acceleration to 
undo to counteract the acceleration down due to gravity so we need that's why we have the g as well as the actual acceleration upwards which is um i think it was this it was given as uh three meters per second yeah okay so let's sum in the numbers we had a six kilogram bucket of water um, and we're going to assume that nothing spilled out and changed the mass uh, we got 9.8 meters per second squared that's gravity and the upwards acceleration is three meters per second squared meters per second squared so uh, let's ask our good friend the calculator what is the numerical answer to that so six multiplied by in brackets don't forget the brackets bed mass real fast 9.8 plus 3 in brackets multiplied by 6 and we get FC the force uh, the amount of tension inside the cable is 76.8 newtons okay so it's good to have a diagram like this and it can kind of give you a lot of intuitions about like um, you know what type of forces to expect because um, uh, yeah so first we have to counteract uh, gravity, and then with the additional acceleration, there's an additional force inside the tension of the cable. And it was calculated precisely the same way, and 76.8, 76.8, give ourselves a high five, because that tension is found. Cool, so the above solution is good.